All right, so welcome back. As you can see, this is XRP, uh, the four hour chart on uh, TradingView. So I bought into XRP yesterday, which was October 10th, 9th or 10th. Uh, up here, it was, this is USDT, so let's change that to Canadian. Not that it matters, but. All right, so I bought in at 72, so right there. And then it crashed. So I work midnights and I went to bed thinking that I would get out um, at like point or like 75 cents, I don't know. Just an in and out trade kind of thing. Um, I wasn't shorting, I wasn't, it was just spot trading. And sure enough, it crashed. But, so this is the NDAX platform. So as you can see here, this is the one hour chart. So we put, so we put our lines in, right? And then we had to deal with this crash. So 70, 72, 73, 72 something I got in. I don't know, like right around 72, 73, something like that right there. And then it crashed, but that's okay. Um, but as you can see, it was in an upward trend and then just kind of went down a little bit, kind of like right here. Um, so I had a bunch of lines in. So go, because definitely like your your one hour chart is gonna tell you like the direction of the trend, like up or down. And then you go to the 30 minute chart. As you can see, it's still going down. So might hold that 68 cents. We'll have to see. Um, kind of higher than the last bunch trade right over here. But then you go to a four hour chart, so you can see. So upward trend. But basically, um, a line is a line is a line. Once that line's crossed, uh, the change. So go here, a low, so then you'd enter here. You wouldn't get in perfectly, in and out, but um, you know, it is what it is. This is trading. So as you can see, there's a high, higher high. And see, it, this looks sideways, but it was still up. It was still going up because it only touched the upper trend line, like here and here, and then it was going up. So that was a good thing. So obviously you can like trade all these, like spot trade all these swings and there's money there, right? Another one I was in was Matic Polygon. So that's a 30 minute chart there. We'll go four hour chart. So again, upward trend looks similar to XRP actually. Um, so here you go here, it's going down, you draw a line, you get in and let it run. And then it crosses, it's red, and then you get out. So this was a good run, good profit. And then again, draw your line, wait, and then you get in. And you could ride that little run if you wanted to. But again, put your line in. Obviously, some people do it differently. They go off either candles or wicks. Um, so say we move this to be on like the candle. So if you got in here, you'd get out kind of up here. That would be small trade. So this is kind of a down 
straight down, but we will go like this. Oops. It's probably just being a little funny. So right there. And then you can touch it to the candles there. So obviously if it comes up and hits this, it may go, may go through, but as you can see the long trend line, it dipped below that. So is it going to plummet like again? Like will it go down to like a dollar? Probably not, but who knows, right? Is it just going to continue to tumble? Let's uh, zoom out and see. So there's some pretty... That was September 13th, and then it crashed. September 13th, September 16th, September 19th. So this is the upward trend. And then is this a reversal, like direction change? Could be. Um, but see, there's another big drop. So with this, you really, I mean, unless you're shorting, but spot trading, you really can't trade this. You have to wait for it to crash and then get in and hope for the best and then try to trade these little swings or try to trade the bigger ones. There is definitely money to be made. Like, could you make a hundred bucks a day? Yeah. How much would you need? Maybe 500 to a thousand dollars. Um, give or take depends on how good you are, how patient you are. I really want to get back in to, um, I want to put more money into XRP and swing trade the rest of what I have in this account, which isn't much, but, um, it's there. So, but I don't know if XRP is going to like completely fall because it did go past here. So who knows? Like, will it crash, like, way down here where it was? Maybe that'd be a good buy, because then when it runs up, you're gonna, like, double and triple your money. But yeah, so a line is a line, and once it's crossed, you get in, and then you draw your line in, and you get out. Get in, get out, get in, get out, if you're just spot trading. Really, you're only trading, like, the up upswings, basically, because this platform, you can't short, and there's no leverage. So that is that.